Hello YouTubers, DP Devil again. Uh, just a little update on uh, on the power output I'm getting. Um, I've got two disadvantages against me right now. Um, when I put my solar panels up, I put four of them up on the roof. I tied three of them into my lines coming down. My positive line coming down is a one aught wire. The other line coming down is a tang gauge wire. I'm losing a lot of voltage through that wire. Um, the other one disadvantage is the heat. Um, what I was doing the other day with the three solar panels, um, the last three other days, I haven't been able to. Uh, duplicate that really uh it was very hard uh it's been like 90 something degrees but today outdoors right now at the moment 80 degrees earlier i was getting uh about 380 380 watts maybe a little more um but i i plugged in another solar panel so i've got uh should be 44 amps coming down right now um, I'm getting a solid 30 amps right now um, pretty constant you know usually without that other solar panel I was I was below 30 so we're getting a good solid output at least um, the temperatures rising today it's actually been one of the coolest days it's 79 now but it's uh, in the middle of the afternoon um, Anyways, here's here's our uh, our amperage we're bringing in from the solar panels right now. Well, last night I uh, I knew that there was a storm coming. I went ahead and hooked up my uh, wind turbine into my uh, power inverters. Uh, we didn't get much wind out of it. Um, I get most of my wind from my turbine that produces most of my energy during the winter because there's no leaves on the trees and I'm in town. Um, but I did get to see the inverters come on and produce a few watts, which is good. I mean, it just spun a little bit. We had a little bit of storm, no, um, no real good activity. It was just a little rainstorm came in for a few hours, lots of rain for a while. But, uh, right now on our voltage coming down from those four, the other day, I think it was sticking around uh, 13, 14. Now I'm staying at a solid 15, pretty strong. Uh, goes up and down a little bit. Like I said, there's the temperature outdoors, 79 degrees, uh, 77 in the man cave. Um, here's the voltage we're getting, wattage we're getting back into the grid right now. Earlier, I was getting a lot stronger before it started heating up a little bit more outdoors. Um, I think during the winter, we're going to do a lot better. Uh, there's my amps I'm getting right now. AC amps. This is grid tie. I'm feeding this back into the uh, grid. 2.98 amps. My kilowatt hours for the last two and a half days is 7.42. Um, I really like the grid tie inverters. Um, I like to get every nook and cranny of sun and energy into my grid tie inverters, which is nice. Um, uh, I've got my solar uh, controller here. I do not have it hooked in because I am running 40 amps now, and that is just a, a 30 amp uh, solar controller. <clears throat> I may eventually... Uh, just hook one or two panels to that and trickle it for when I really do need it. Um, I'm not sure yet what I want to do there. I just need to get some uh, good switches uh, to switch over. But uh, just an update, YouTubers. Uh, anybody's got some spare uh, one out wire laying around, go ahead and send it on my way. <laughs> But, uh, it's getting a little warmer out. Let's watch the amps here. Yeah, 
and yeah, I've 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 went up to the meter and uh, I've I've watched the meter on my house pretty much go backwards when there's no loads in the house. So I definitely am grid tied and it's working really well. Well, YouTubers, um, hopefully I can uh, make something else happen here and get back to you. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good good and safe day. Later.